While the Great Basin originated from the forces of plate tectonics, volcanism, and faults, one other natural element had a crucial impact, climate. From about 2 million to 10,000 years ago, during the Quaternary period, the Earth's climate underwent multiple intervals of cooling and warming. The cooling periods, also known as the Ice Ages or Glacial Ages, lasted about 50,000 years each. They were separated by warming periods, known as interglacials, each lasting from 10,000 to about 25,000 years. During the cooling periods, temperatures dropped by 8 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. This caused significant increases in snow and rain, which permanently changed the landscape. At higher elevations, the cooler temperatures kept the snow from melting. Eventually, the snow formed permanent ice and became glaciers that moved across the land and reshaped it. Glaciers left their mark on the Snake Range. Features include the steep cirque below Wheeler Peak, Johnson Lake, the rounded valleys of Baker Creek and Snake Creek, and the piles of rubble called moraines south of Brown Lake. Rocky remnants of these alpine glaciers, called rock glaciers, still remain in the Wheeler Peak Cirque. At lower elevations, the cooler temperatures brought more rain, which collected in the basins and formed lakes. The lakes supported many insect, fish, and bird species. As the lakes grew, they climbed mountain slopes and often merged to form mega lakes. Two of the largest in the Great Basin were Lake Bonneville and Lake Lahontan. The formation of lakes was a repetitive process, as lake levels rose and fell with the cooling and warming periods. When lake levels remained constant for centuries or millennia, shoreline waters eroded terraces into the mountain slopes. Some of the most prominent terraces can be seen on the slopes surrounding the Bonneville Basin. Plants and animals were also affected by the Pleistocene climate intervals as habitats shifted in response to precipitation and temperature changes. The Ice Ages changed the face of the land, both destroying and creating habitats for plants and wildlife. The global climate changes of today are occurring at a much faster rate, which may have serious consequences for biodiversity.